This is Big Bad Bundy. And check this guy out. He placed 6th at the 2022 Texas Pro just this past weekend. And I know everybody's talking about Andrew Jack. I'm getting many messages telling me to do Andrew Jack versus Nick Walker. Andrew Jack versus Big Rammy. Well... This is a, a bodybuilding channel, first and foremost. I love the views. I love the views. But, like I said, this is a bodybuilding channel, first and foremost. And I would be remiss not to mention Big Bad Bundy's performance at the Texas Pro. I mean, look, guys. You guys are all talking about Andrew Jack. Take a look at Big, ben, but Big Bad Bundy, rather. And no, I'm not saying that Big Bad Bundy's defeating Andrew Jack altogether he might be beating him in this pose but this is more to do with the improvements that big bad bundy his real name's jeff charenfant but i like to call him big bad bundy to show the improvements that he has made since last year now look at this of course not the clearest picture for the 2022 side tricep for bundy so i figured i would begin this one doesn't really show conditioning it sure shows a whole lot more mass now let's go through the, the better pitchers, the clearer shots, and my soul. You really need to be a bodybuilding entrepreneur or a bodybuilding fan, a, a bodybuilding buff to understand how much improvements that this guy has made in one short year going from 10th place. He got 10th last year and this year he got 6th and it was a deeper lineup, a much tight, tougher lineup for sure. Definitely more factors going on. I mean, this guy's condition, more so than the size, impresses me. The thin skin, and I mention this a lot too. I know you guys might not think it matters, but facially, he has more confidence facially. Now, I've seen that from Quentin Uriah in the last year, other bodybuilders too. It's just a confidence that comes out, and the physique follows suit. Now, the front double bicep... I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of differences here, guys. The wheel size, the cuts in the wheels, the quads, the lats. I mean, that's that's the whole physique, right? But this front double by is, is probably the least noticeable of how improved he is. Wait till you see the other shots. This guy is incredible. Hard to see the pec difference, but take a, cl a close look. You can see he definitely has a bigger man's chest. And those lats, those lats, V-taper. Here's the front lat spread. This is a much more aesthetically pleasing shot, if you ask me. His chest, much more filled out, much more filled out. Arms look bigger, even though, you know, it doesn't really help you in the front lat spread. Kind of does in this one, though. Look at his lats. His lats are bigger. But like I said, the two front shots may be the least noticeable of the changes, other, other than the wheels, other than the wheels. And I was impressed with this guy last year. Big Bad Bundy. What a name, too. Now, here is where you can really gauge and see that this guy is now a contender. Look at the delts. And they don't look too suspect at all to me. Like a lot of the guys that you see improving on their delts <laughs> lately. If you hear what I'm saying. They look like the biggest, most fantasticest arms that I've ever seen in the side chest development. Look how much drier he is. This guy is, you know, he needs to be mentioned more. Because if this guy improves again, the same as he did from last year to this year, he could be a top five threat at the Olympia. Here's the hua pose. And this is serious improvements. I was looking at this physique last year thinking, wow, he is so good, aesthetically pleasing, tall, yes, but he's pretty thick nonetheless. And then you look at this year, and then you look at back at last year, and it's like, wow, he doesn't look that good after all compared to this year. But of course he does. He's just incredible this year. Top six at the Texas Pros, nothing to spit at, guys. Of course, the conditioning has to be uh, improving. As much as the size, right? I mean, that would be impossible to get bigger and more conditioned. Well, take a look with your little peepers here, guys. The glutes, hamstrings, the thin skin of the back, the overall condition of this guy. There's a, like a vascularity level, a graininess this year that he just did not possess last year. This is awesome, guys. This back development, unbelievable. Wow.
That deserves a wow. Here's the rear double. You, you want to see a better back? I mean, look. Look at the traps. Look at the lat insertions. And look at the arms, for goodness sakes. Legs. He was good last year, I'm telling you. I liked this physique last year. Love Jeff Charon fan. Big bad Bundy. But, I mean, he's going to be a serious threat. It's one thing to be rooting for a guy, but it's another thing to say, well, if this guy does continue to improve the way he is, you're going to have to start looking at this guy. And uh, you guys definitely are going to have to start looking at him. Look at the abs and thigh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at the wheels. <laughs> a, a, a wheel base. My goodness, my soul. Look at the lats, the abs. The improvement, the improvement. Bodybuilding is all about self-improvement, right? You don't pay attention to the other guy. You just do the best you can do. And I guess that's that's the best you can do on a stage. And it looks like Jeff Cherenfan is doing just that. He's not paying attention to the Andrew Jacks, the Michael Crizos, the Blessing Awadibus. Not getting involved with, you know, Instagram, Instagram drama, so social media drama, things of that nature. Oh, here's a different abs and thigh. And we're going to finish off with this one. This guy's improvements are just as good as an Andrew Jacks, from what I've seen, from the Arnold uh, amateur to the Texas pro. This is even more impressive. This is unbelievable, guys. Look at the abs. Look at the upper body. And there was no most muscular, unfortunately. A good, clean, clear, clean shot of the Texas pro because you really need them. I mean, one thing to be uh, noticing the size difference, but this guy has thinner skin, more strawations feathering in them quads. Big Bad Bundy. Remember the name, guys. Jeff Cherenfant. They were calling him on the announcements. Jeff T. Jeff T. Cherenfant, the guy called him. I think that's incorrect, buddy. I think it's a silent T. And any either which way, you should have called him Big Bad Bundy because that's the name. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a noise? Well, if it does, if it is the size of Big Bad Bundy. Have a great day.